Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton. You've got 29 days until May and I'm going to help you succeed in your GCSE. This lesson, revision timetables. A revision timetable is a really important first step when it comes to preparing for a large set of exams like GCSEs. And I'm sure that your teachers have talked about the importance of having a revision timetable so that you make sure that you don't just focus on one subject uh, to the detriment of others, but you are making sure that you use your time evenly across all the different subjects. However, what teachers sometimes forget to do or assume that someone else has done is tell you how to make a revision timetable. How do you know how to do it? Have you ever done one before? What's a good one look like? It's a tricky thing. And so, I think the best way to get around that problem and to get you quickly into the actual revision rather than spending all day writing your own timetable is if I give you one. Which is exactly what I've done. This revision timetable is available as a free download from my Google Drive. You can either print it directly from there or you can copy it to your own Google Drive or you can download it as a file which you can then edit on your own computer. In the last video I said you should be spending a minimum of one hour on school days and three hours on every other day on your revision. This timetable divides up those hours for you so you can see what you should be revising and when. I've covered all the main subject areas here and I've left room for any options which you might be sitting as well. As a timetable, it's pretty self-explanatory. I do want to draw your attention to a couple of things though. Firstly, in between those 30 minute sessions on normal weekdays, you'll see that I've left you an eight minute break. Now that's quite important and I want you to set a timer to make sure that you don't go over those eight minutes. That'll keep your brain ticking over, it'll give you enough time to relax between the different topics, but it won't give you time to start winding down. So do stick to that eight minutes. If it's getting towards 10, then you're going to be getting distracted and you're not going to be focused on what you're doing anymore. Remember, set a timer for those eight minute breaks. You'll also see that in the holiday or study leave weeks, I've left room for you to be sitting a 60 minute exam paper. Now, if you can only get a 90 minute exam paper, that's fine, just do 60 minutes worth of that exam paper. And then have a look at the mark scheme, go through it and check what you got right and what you got wrong. Then you'll see after lunch, you need to go through and correct your errors. Where were you getting it wrong? What do you need to do? This is a really crucial step because focusing on where you went wrong is going to let you learn from that experience. So please don't miss that out. I'll go into more detail about past papers in a future video. You'll see on those days where I've said do an exam paper, I've also left a slot for you to revise your best subject and your worst subject. You know which ones those are. Be honest with yourself. It starts with the worst one, get it out of the way, and then you can go and finish off on revising your best subject. Lastly, this is the bare minimum amount of work you need to be putting in now. If you're a D student and you're doing this, don't expect it to magically transform you into an A star student, but it could well get you a C or even a B. If you wanted to get higher grades, you're going to need to put more work in. Don't be afraid to add more time onto this. But again, this should be the minimum which you're aiming to do every day. I hope that video really helped you. It really helps my channel when you like, subscribe and share. Let the world know that you're going to succeed in your GCSEs. There are loads more GCSE science videos on my channel too. Here's another one which YouTube thinks you'll find useful. You can click on my picture here to subscribe, click down there to check how well you understood with the SnapQuiz website and app, and click just here to get my revision guides. All the links and info are in the description, and please leave a comment to let me know what you think. Good luck in your GCSEs, and thanks very much for watching.